Hey guys! You're yelling already. You have to be loud. Uh, Welcome back to Masked Misfits, and today. Today. Today is a day where it is today, and today we will be talking about. But before we say what we're talking about, I am Comically Large Rock. And this... I forgot. This is Dinosaur and a half. That wasn't my name. You're right, it was Cretaceous. Yeah, I got it. Wait, where's the <laughs> mic? Cretaceous! Cretaceous. And today, we will be talking about Sigma. Is Sigma a good thing? What does it mean to be Sigma? Should we all be Sigma? This is a good question. I will hand this over to either Dinosaur, Cretaceous, Jurassic, something involving Dinosaur. I'm handing it over right now. As we speak, I'm handing it over. Like, like right at this very moment. Here you go. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, today... <laughs> that's, that's an umbrella. Oh, it's the other way around? Okay. Here you go. Yeah, so today... We're talking about Sigma and Sigmatism. Should you be Sigma or should you be Tism? And if you were Sigma, remember to only have one Sigmatism and not multiple because that would not be good. So, um, yes. Is Sigma Sigma or is Sigma just being mean to women? That's the question of the hour. Uh, I think we'll take a call from over here. Caller number one, what is your response? I am now caller number one. Sigma is a, like, when you think of Sigma, you most likely think of a face, which is very shapen and muscular and beautiful and gorgeous and amazing and glorious and awesome. Like, everyone should make that face. However... When you see Sigma videos on, let's say, YouTube or other social media platforms, sometimes the guy can be rude to the girl. And is it a humorous rude or just a rude rude? We do not know since we are not the people. I'm going to pass it to caller number two and a half. Yeah, so I actually think that being Sigma is pretty Sigma. And if you can get away with being Sigma then congrats your Sigmas. Clap, clap. I'm rubbing my hand on the mic. No. No! Anyways, I don't have anything to say. Here is caller number three and a half. Well, that's it from our callers. Thanks for calling in. And remember, when you call us, we hear you. So, uh, Large Rock, what did you think of our callers' opinions? The opinions are certainly opinions. And the difference between opinion and fact is that a fact is 100% true, because that is what a fact is. An opinion is something that is true to the person that believes that it is true. However, people can have different beliefs, such as, let's say, someone thinks that sharks are cool. Another person can think that sharks are scary. This is an opinion. Now let's talk about, I forgot what they're called, but first-hand sources and second-hand sources. First-hand I, I, wait, no, first, first and dairy sources and secondary sources. So, first and dairy source is like, let's say a book that was published about, um, the construction of a very famous lawn chair, and the person was, like, the writer was the person that constructed the lawn chair. That would be a first and dairy source. However, a secondary source 
would be someone that is writing about the lawn chair, even though they have never seen, touched, or um, more touched said lawn chair. Um, one question. What does this have to do with being Sigma? You're always a personary source of your Sigma, because you're everywhere. And everyone knows you, and you're just super duper cool sometimes, depending on the kind of Sigma that you are. Okay, okay. So, what you're saying, if you're Sigma, then you're first. And if you're not Sigma, then you're last. Always. However, there are people that think they're Sigma, but they're actually just mean. Those people are even more last than the people that are in last. Real. So, you'd say that these people aren't very skibbity. Not skibbity at all. Cretaceous dinosaur Jurassic for... Well, you've heard it here, folks. If you're not skibbity and you're not losing, you're other way around. If you're not stigma and you're not losing, then you're not even skibbity. So remember, if you aren't the Rizzler, don't get your girls in the Twizzler. Yup. Pause break. And we're back. So now we're going to be talking about Cars 2. One of the best Cars movies out of there. I would say this is either first, second, or third on the Cars movie list. Out of the three movies. The first movie, you know, iconic origin stories. Now, origin stories can only go so far because they tell the first story of the hero. Now, the second one... We have drama, we have spies, we have explosions, we have riz, we have a piece of language from the bad guy, which for a little kid show, is a little bit wild to be honest. Now the third movie, it's been a while, but I just watched the second movie, and it was so freaking good. Mater, apparently, people think he's a spy, he's not a spy, he ends up being a really good spy even though he's not a spy. Because people think he's a spy, and then, like, basically he saves the day, yeah. What do you think, cr big, large rock? I think that Mater's the bomb. But yeah, so, Cars 2, I think it is a very good movie. Good soundtrack, good visuals. I especially like the first part with the spy guy, when he was going through, like, the oil rigs. And there were, like, guys that were trying to get him, but he had all these cool gadgets and gizmos. Like, I think at one point he should have said, Go, go, gadgets. Boats. And then he turned into a submarine. But he only said boats because, um, like, to confuse the enemies. So they're gonna think, Oh, he's gonna turn into a boat. Let's launch the boat killers. But he's actually a submarine. So the boat killers will be not useful. But yeah, very good movie. Again, Mater's the Bomb. Queen Elizabeth was in that movie. Yep, I agree pretty wholeheartedly about this. The only thing is, I think we would make terrible movie critics. Because, you know, like, there's all those people who hate on movies. There's Rotten Tomato. But see, the thing is, I'm more of a pop... Ugh. I'm more of a positive potato, because I'd say, oh, look at this movie, it was a good movie, and then people were like, no, 21%, this movie sucks, garbage, and no plot, no storyline, no character development, and I'm like, bro, just, like, enjoy the movie, and then people that are religious, like, I'm religious, but I watch movies, and some people, I was with some people the other day, and the, the guy's mom was there, and, there, and she was like, man, I don't like how blah blah blah. And I was like, bro, can you just watch a movie and enjoy it and not say that everything's like, has to be like, godly or demonic? Like, can't a movie just be a movie and not be like, a sign from the devil or something? But I don't know, that's just me personally. What do you think? A bit of context to the situation. He was watching Kung Fu Panda with the guy's mom. 
and uh, the guy's mom didn't like the spirit realm part. Specifically the fourth one. Specifically the fourth one. <laughs> Anyways, so I would also not make a very good movie critic because whenever I watch something, I just turn my brain off and enjoy the moments. And so when my brain is turned off, I don't think of, oh, so this is probably going to happen next time. I don't try to predict it. So then nothing's predictable to me. So even like the most, like, oh, that's not surprising at all, will be surprising to me. Like, for example, a lot of people didn't like Accolade, but I liked it. I thought it was good. They really underused the Wookiee Jedi. Like, they could have gone so many cool places with that, but then they just killed him. I'm sorry for spoiling. <laughs> yeah, seems to make a lot of sense. I think TV shows, especially, you know, nothing's like it used to be. You know, when we grew up, there was all this good stuff with all that lore behind it, you know. I didn't watch it, but we had, like, Gravity Falls, and then there's, like, Bluey, and then there was, like, a bunch of those random kid cartoons that are just, like, classic. Like, you know, Wild... Wild Squad. Wild Crats. Odd Squad and Wild Crats. Or, like, even Curious George. Like, something I wouldn't watch now, but just classics. Like, they're just good. You just enjoy them. But then, people just make stuff now, and it's super overstimulating, and extra plot. And, you know, people like Matt Pat. R.I.P. He didn't die. He just retired, as you know. But, you know, he was such a cool guy. Because it takes someone really strong and brave and just amazing to look for lore in shows where there's probably not lore. Where the writers just write things. And he says, oh, wait, turns out they're actually a serial killer because they eat cereal. And, you know, I just really admire him for that. And I'm sad he's retiring. But that's just me. You're right, that is you, and many others as well. But... I lost my train of thought. That, that was the but, I, the but was that I lost my train of thought. Speaking of but, it is spelled B-U-T. What was the topic? Okay, so, I remember, so... We like things and like consider them to be classics and not like the new things that are coming out. Because uh, we grew up with those, so we associate them with fond memories most of the time. So, like, thinking, oh, that was good. And, like, super cool. But then, again, the same thing, like, if you go to a playground when you're a kid and have a ton of fun, then go back later when you're an adult, you're like, oh, this place is small and boring, there's nothing to do. Hello, dog. I will go take care of this. Wow. You heard it here, folks. Nostalgia is nostalgic because of the time we were there when this wasn't the time that is now. And if you don't remember that, then you'll probably forget it, so you should probably keep that in mind. And we're not exactly sure what we're yapping about at this exact moment, so we're going to take another break. And we'll catch you right after this, because I don't know where else you or we would go unless you decide to leave or we do something else. So, yeah. Real. Oh, yeah. So, catch us back here in a minute on Masked Mitzfit. Masked Mitzfits. That got it, right? You see it? Hold on. Let's try to check. Oh, you can't see. Okay, it's working. Alright. Wait, hold on. Double okay. check. Just edit this part out. I will. Yep, I just, it's recording. I just checked, brother. Okay. Well, I double checked. Good. Hey, welcome back to Matt's Mitt's Kits and Fits, and we're going to be talking about our dreams and for the future, like what we want to do when we grow up. So, recently I've been working at my school's daycare, which has been super fire. It's like a super low-key job. All you got to do is chill, be, like clean up fun stuff, sit around, get to listen to music a lot. So it's been absolutely amazing. So that's been fun. 
and I finally got my paycheck today. I've been working 52 hours. We get paid a little bit below minimum wage, but still, first job, I got paid $567, which is so fire. Like, maybe that's not the most amount of money in the entire world, but that's a lot of money for me. And I'm, that's awesome. And I'm not sure what I'm going to spend it on, so I'll just put it in my bank account for now and get interest because interest is good and we should talk about that in a second and also uh we're, we're our daycare is getting renovated so me and a friend were doing some like throwing some stuff out onto a trailer and there was a couch and it was pretty good condition i've heard it was broken but it seems fine so i took the couch home like i literally walked it to my house which is normally four minute walk but it was like a whole freaking couch bro voice crack is literally crazy but it took me an hour which was not that bad but it was fire i felt super pumped up i was sweaty now it's in my room and it's fire and somebody was throwing out this armchair thing which like rocks and has those leg sticker outer thing and i that's also my room so now my room has leds and bed and armchair and couch and it's so fire and i'm gonna have a sleepover probably pretty soon oh wait yeah that's gonna be like today and this guy's pretty cool. Anyways, we'll talk about jobs in a second, but banks are really cool. Um, always make sure you go to the best bank you can. Because I used to go to a bank that I got like three cents for every hundred dollars that I put in. Now I go to a new bank where I make like ten times that many cents or something, which is not a lot. But when you have cents that adds on to cents, and then eventually you just be basically become rich. So that's why you should always like invest and put stuff in the bank and do crypto. But like be wise with it what i would do if i did this which i don't but i would put twenty dollars in or like a hundred dollars in yeah put a hundred dollars in wait till you make till it becomes worth 120 take out the twenty dollars and leave the hundred dollars then that can go up or down or whatever but you made 200 i mean twenty dollars easy so i'll do mine second what big rock do you want to do when you get older i have uh more than one thing in mind one artist but i feel like that might not work out very well because yeah two architectural designer because i like drawing and i could draw blueprints and design things and that is fun because minecraft exists and again well not again but the third one I think either a psychologist or a therapist. I have to research the difference between those. But one of those, because I like helping people. And then, there isn't something after that. But, I am now going to not talk anymore and pass the phone to Dino Buddy. Not the phone, it's a microphone. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I was like, very interesting. So, anyways... What I want to do when I grow up, bet you can't guess it, but I want to be a YouTuber. Ta-da! I know, surprise, surprise. It's not like 83% of Americans want to be YouTubers and 3% of the people who actually do it. Not just the people who want to, but the people who actually do it, like, make a living off of it. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. So I'll probably go to college for, like, video editing or recording so I have other plans, but that's, like my dream and then whatever else comes along if that doesn't work out i'm cool with because you know i'm pretty cool with whatever happens if i when i get older i just want to you know make some good money like put it in a bank or whatever keep making good money eventually get a wife if i have kids i'll probably have like two because here's how it goes i'm not gonna tell you how many kids my family has but if you have one kid they're lonely i bet right now, if you have two kids, then they can keep each other company. If you have three kids, it's a little bit much, but, I mean, it could work, I guess. But four kids would be so wild. Like, this feels like a lot. And, you know, bills. Like, school bills. Food bills. I almost said grocery bills. Sports bills. All the types of bills. Like, that's crazy expensive, especially for four kids or three kids or two kids. Even one kid. So, you know, we'll just have to see. Depends on if I ever find the right someone anyway. But my mom thinks that I will. But this guy... This guy's a little special. I swear, he's freaking locked in. Like, there'll just be a girl he likes. And then he'll just be like, nice, whatever, just does not care. 
and then a girl will like like him or something and he'll just be like what's up bro just does not care like he just says hi and they're like oh my gosh oh my god you're so cute amazing wow wow and then he's just like nah bro i'm locked in like you ever seen that clip on youtube where it's like this guy ran 20 miles instead of going to hoko bro had that ultimate clip which sound, which perfectly describes him i'm gonna be a virgin for life any thoughts I don't think anybody's ever freaked out at the sight of me. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! But that, I, I, I don't know. I, like, I, it'd be cool to think that. It's like, or like, oh yeah, I'm all that. I'm that cool. But yeah. But yeah. Um, I never lose. So yeah, and. What is cryptocurrency? I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. <clears throat> so, you basically use real life money to buy online money, and then that money can go up or down in value. So, your $100 could either be worth $50 or $200, and it goes up and down like that. And so, you can invest. You want to take it out when it's worth a lot. Or buy and buy it when it's really low but it can also be risky because sometimes it stays really low for a long time or it can be really high for a long time so it's kind of like gambling but not really it's more like controlled and smart and something that Elon Musk would do speaking of Elon Musk those cars what are they called again Tesla Cybertruck yeah, those Tesla Cybertruck things, like, those are cool. Like, they look mad cool. They're in Fortnite, but I saw one in real life. It was fire. I was going to a Mexican restaurant, and there was just one there, and I was like, bro, bet. Like, that's fire. Bet. Like, for real, for real. And, then, and like, in Fortnite, it sounds clean as freak, too, bro. It's like, like, it's just, that's nice, dude. Yeah, basically. And, by the way, started a new channel. It's for edits, like, probably make some pause edits and other stuff like that so far i just have one and it's just grew but it's like kind of fire to be honest but i don't know this is me it has seven subscribers in two days which not that bad well i mean it sounds kind of bad but i have 43 subscribers or 42 or whatever in two years so you know i think that's doing a little bit better marginally at least but i don't know we'll have to post more and see anyways Don't you just love Pav? Just like sometimes in games you gotta turn up your Pav, and when someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer, you respond with it. <laughs> or like when someone makes you laugh through text, you say lol, and yeah. I forgot the other thing, so I'm gonna try to regain my conscience. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, 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 uh. Well, no, duh. Don't normal people see LOL and think lol? Like, this guy thinks LOL. Is it just me? Am I weird for thinking lol? And I think POV, and, but FOV. And, and if somebody says, like, HRU, I think how are you? Or, like, WTV, I think whatever. I don't think pop is just how i think and how i say this guy likes to turn up his fall all the time in real life he'll just be like oh i need to see better fall my bad so instead of pronouncing them i think with each individual letter so i think it's odd that this guy says uh, for pov pop but for fov it's fov very interessante. I don't know, man. He says, I don't know, man, in case the mic didn't pick that up. Well, it might be good. Or should we tell some stories? Uh. What stories do we know? I'm trying to regain my train of thought from earlier, but then you said pop. And that completely derailed it. <laughs> um. What were we talking about before you said pause? 
cyber trucks and cryptocurrency. Oh, yeah. So cyber trucks. I saw a picture from on the inside, and I feel like if someone sat in the middle back seat, then you couldn't see out the back window at all. And uh, I have to wonder how aerodynamic it is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it's dang near indestructible. It'd be crazy if the cartel pulled up with a bunch of cyber trucks because they're like everything proof. One thing though, the absolute most ridiculous freaking funny thing ever is when you claim it's near indestructible, you do a light, gentle, easy to pass test, throw a rock at the windshield, and it breaks. Like, how did you mess up so bad that your claims of near invulnerability are so false that a rock would break it? Like, you just lightly tap a pedal and just go, pedal. Lightly tap a tap, tight, throw, you lightly throw a pebble. And it goes, <clears throat> and the whole thing, the whole glass shatters. Like, bro, whoever did that definitely lost their job that day. There's no way bro is still on that team after that. How do you mess this up that bad, bro? I got the mic. Yay. But yeah, so building off of what he's saying, but not really building off. So I feel like that was like a test model because I think I saw like a car crash of uh, like a Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck was perfectly fine. The other car was demolished. And this one guy shot a bow and arrow at the Tesla Cybertruck and it didn't even dent. It was like totes cray cray. Mm, I don't really know, guys. I've been watching a lot of edits recently, and I found a super fire, like, I know this kind of random and weird, but like, super fire Ben 10 theme song. So I might try and make an edit out of that, because it goes crazy. It goes like... And now I insert it here. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that song absolutely crazy, bro? That's what I'm thinking. Speaking of songs, absolute favorite song right now. Been listening to this on repeat hours at a time. Falling Down Clean by somebody and the peep person. Like, that song goes crazy hard. Completely underrated. Like, I know it's kind of old, but it's so good. Like, here it is. That's the only part of it, because I don't want to get copyrighted. But it goes so hard, to be honest. But, like, what about you? What's your favorite song, Big Rock? My favorite song is Phoenix by Fall Out Boy. And yes, I do like punk music. Yeah. Well, we might be good. Yeah, we, yeah, we definitely went very off-topic several times. It's, uh, this no. might be too much. We ran out of creative juice. You want to finish? You want to say our outro? This has been the Math and Misfits. And uh, from what he ends with the streams, like, subscribe, and get baptized. Peace. Peace.